you've learnt the equations. That's fabulous. But if you haven't, do go back and make sure you learn them first. To be really ready for this video, you need to have learnt your multiples and your submultiples too. So if you don't know your giga from your nano, go and do this first. If the abbreviations confuse you and you don't know your I from your C, go and do this first. Give yourself the best chance of success in this rearranging video. If you're sure you're watching the right video to support your next step, welcome. I'm going to start with an easier equation and show you three methods. I want you to choose one method and then stick to it. So we're going to look at triangles, the flow method and the balance method. We're going to do this with the equation that defines current. Current is charge divided by time, the rate of flow of charge. So let's start with the triangle method. This method comes with a warning. Be careful with your exam technique. A triangle does not count as you're working out. You can use it as a method to help you then show you're working out, but to get all the marks, you need to show you're working. There are three spaces in a triangle. With our equation, current is charge divided by time, there's only one place the Q can fit for our charge, and it's in space one. Now, it doesn't matter which way round you put your I and your T, but our rearranging can now be done. So, if you need the charge, you cover it over with your finger to reveal that charge is current times time. If you need the time, cover that over with your finger and reveal that time is charge divided by current. Let's try this method with a real example from the 2018 Higher Paper 2. This is from question 8. We're told the current, which is I, is 200 milliamps. Now milliamps means 10 to the minus 3 amps, so we've 200 times 10 to the minus 3 amps. We're told the charge is 42 coulombs. Charge is Q. And we're told the time needs to be calculated in minutes. So one minute is 60 seconds, and we're going to need that at the end. So those milliamps, we could say 200 times 10 to the minus 3, or a milliamp is a thousandth of an amp. So you could do 200 divided by a thousand to give us 0 0.2 amps. But we do need to be in standard units for our question. So you need to recall the equation that current is charge divided by time, but we need to rearrange it. So by creating our triangle, where Q has to be at the top of the triangle, we can cover over what we're trying to find, the time, and see that the time must then be the charge divided by the current. So substituting into our equation using the standard units, we have 42 coulombs divided by 0 0.2 amps or 200 times 10 to the minus 3 amps if you prefer. When we divide 42 by 0 0.2, we find that the answer comes to 210 and that will be in seconds. 210 seconds we need to divide that by 60 because the 60 seconds in one minute so that we can put the answer into what the question has asked us to do, the answer into minutes. So 210 divided by 60 on my calculator came to 3.5. So the answer is 3.5 minutes. You might be thinking, that's it, I'm just going to use the triangle method and that's fine. You don't have to watch any more of this video. But I do want you to try one more question, please. So the next part of this exam question is ideal for our practice. I've helped you here by highlighting the important parts of the question. And hopefully you'll realise that you need that definition of voltage equation to solve this one. So recall your equation, practice using your triangle method and good luck. If you're still here, then you must want to know more about the flow method. So let's get started. We're sticking with that same equation. Now the flow method is quite new to me, but I'm going to try and explain it. And thank you to Mr McKelvey who explained it to me. 
So the first line, we're saying charge, when it's divided by time, it takes us to the answer of current. Therefore, current, if we go back and do the opposite of dividing and times it by time, will take us to the answer for charge. So charge is the current times the time. First rearrangement complete. Then, now we can say time, if we times it by current, it will take us to charge. Therefore, charge, if we do the opposite thing and divide it by current, that will take us to time. So charge divided by current is time, or time is charge divided by current. We've rearranged our equation both ways. And applying it to our exam example, the same things apply as before. We still need to deal with the milliamps and we do at the end of the question need to convert our time from seconds into minutes to finish off our answer. But here you can see I've used the flow method to rearrange my equation so that I can substitute into it. Take a moment to check you're happy with that before you try the next example. And remember, you need to recall your voltage definition equation so that you can then try practicing your flow method and making sure this is the method that you want to stick with. If you're still here watching the video, then you must be interested in the balance method. So let's finish with that one. We're sticking with that same equation, our definition for current. Imagine our equation on a seesaw where I is exactly equal to Q divided by T. They perfectly balance. I want to deal with the T first because it looks all untidy under there. So I could do that by timesing by T. If I times by T and divide by T, it's like T isn't really there. So I can just get rid of it. However, if I'm going to keep my seesaw balanced, if I times the right hand side by T, I've got to times the left hand side by T to keep everything balanced. Now, on the right hand side, I'm just left with Q and that's perfectly balancing I times T. T times I equals Q or the charge is equal to the time times the current or the current times the time. We could imagine this as an equation balancing on our seesaw. Now let's divide both sides by I because I want to get T all on its own. By dividing the left hand side by I, it means I can cancel I out and leave T on its own. But of course, to keep it balanced, I must divide the right hand side by I as well. And then this shows me that T is exactly the same as Q divided by I. The time is equal to the charge divided by the current. Back to our exam example for one last time. All the same things are important, the milliamps and the minutes at the end. I recall my equation, I equals Q over T, and I times both sides by T. That means that I can cancel out T on the right hand side, leaving me with charge is equal to current times time. Then I can divide both sides by I and cancel out I on the right hand side to leave me with the equation ready that I need. Time is charge divided by current. Then we substitute the numbers in to work out that 210 seconds and then convert that into minutes to finish the question. Now try this example using your balance method. I've highlighted the relevant bits of the question to help you and you do need to recall your definition for voltage equation. But hopefully you have decided at this point whether it's the triangle, the flow or the balance method that will work best for you. Choose one, stick to it and practice it. If you want a second video for your method, something that goes into slightly more complicated equations, four parters, some of the ones from the equation sheet, then let me know and I can make one for the triangle method, the flow method or the balance method or all three if needed. Let me know which one you want more on and I'll get making. 
regular review gets a better grade for you. Regular review gets a better grade Don't for you. Don't forget to like so that I can keep making the videos. Comment. Especially to request other revision topics. Subscribe. So you can get notifications of when my next video gets uploaded.